Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're making some jewelry. Making some new designs for spring, so I thought I'd share how I make them, what I use, so you can make them at home if you want to. And if you'd rather just buy them, I will have links below. I'll also link everything I'm using. Oh. Okay, let's get started. We'll see how much I can film today. And don't forget to subscribe. I love using these flower toggles. I will link them below. I also put all my findings in this dish, which is super cute. So I'll also link that. Use any beads that you like. I will be using pearl and gemstone beads. This is the best beading wire that I've found. It has to be the 49 strand. Otherwise, it will just be lower quality and it will just bend easily and then get any wire cutters. And these are my favorite crimping pliers. I'll also have them linked below. So pull your wire out to whatever size you want. I'm gonna be doing 14 inch, which is a typical choker size and then these are my crimping beads there's different sizes but i get the one millimeter i put it on there and then whatever toggle you're using i like to use this end of the toggle first and then you put the wire back through the crimping bead i use my thumbnail to keep it separated like that and then i tighten it and then i use this little v shape in the pliers to create a little fold and a v and then i kind of fold it over itself so it's like a c shape and then I just make sure that's nice and tight and almost like a circle. Clip off any remaining and then just make sure it's nice and tight and not going anywhere. And then it's time to bead. I'm gonna be using Peridot, Amethyst, Moss Agate, and Citrine. Once you figure out the pattern you like, just keep repeating that until you get to the very end. kind of exactly the way we started it. Put on one of these little crimping beads and then the other side of your toggle. I use the pliers again to fold it through and then pull it nice and tight. You don't want it to be too tight because you want there to be a bend in the necklace still. So I leave a little extra room. Tighten it and then clamp it with that V shape still and then fold it over itself. This is the best way I've found for it just being really sturdy. I've been wearing some of my necklaces for over a year and they still are holding strong, so I swear by this technique. Clip off any extra and then there you have your necklace. But to make it even a little more fancy, I use these crimp covers. I use 14 karat gold filled, but again, you can use anything you want. I just like the higher quality for these. And then I just put it over that crimp bead to cover it and I make it a perfect circle so it looks just like bead. I do the same to the other side. And then there you have it, a cute, perfect necklace. I love the way this one turned out. Comment if you have any more questions and I'd love to see your guys' necklaces too. So tag me if you make any. So my first one was inspired by a customer. Her name's Polly. She's so sweet. She's the best. She always supports me, always comments and orders. And, and she came up with this design, so I'm naming it Polly. For my next one, I wanted to give fairy vibes. Rosie in the back. I'm kind of inspired by Amber Filler Up. She gives me fairy vibes. So I'm thinking like pinks and greens. I'm gonna mess with it and we'll come up with something. Don't wanna be a one man.
love the podcast, what we said. JC and Chelsea host, and I've followed JC for a long time, so I'm kind of inspired by her. Their vibes are like pink and blue, so I want one to be pink and one to be kind of blue. But JC has like red hair, kind of orangey. I'm gonna try and put together like some pink and orange, maybe pearls, and we'll see how it turns out. And for the Chelsea, because I'm naming it after them. Yeah, I want to do blue. I think more simple because her style is just more not simple. She has really good style, but I have a vision. Mr. Director, I will do anything you want me to do. Hey, Mr. Director, anything, anything for you. I can sing, I can dance, I can sing, I can dance, I can learn the smooth moves. I will do anything you ask me to do. Jump out. Like I'll be 